So bioregionalism has its origins in a group called the Diggers who were in 1966 San Francisco. These were artists who were trying to create a cultural or social shift in the United States at the time. They believe that performance in the streets and bringing the average person into that performance would shift their consciousness. So in 1966, uh, one of the founders of the group called The Diggers named Emmett Grogan with his friend Billy Murcutt were on top of a building and there was a, they were watching the beginnings of a uprising called the Hunter Point Uprising in which the black community rose up against the murder of a black youth named um, Matthew Peanut Johnson. When they were watching this, they were thinking, well, what should we do? How can we become part of this event? How can we support these people in this uprising? And Emmett said, what we'll do is we'll go feed people. And at the time, Billy was reading the history of anarchists and said, we'll call ourselves the Diggers, named after the earlier group called the Diggers, who were part of the English uh, dissenters. So the next day, they put up posters saying, we will feed you, uh, bring spoons or forks or something like that. And they fed the community. And they started doing this on a regular basis. Uh, they started doing street performances. People like Peter Berg joined, Judy Goldhoff, Peter Coyote, a whole bunch of other activists in trying to shift the consciousness of this society. Uh, they would do things like put up a big frame uh, where people would have to go through it. So they'd have a change or a, a change of frame of mind or something like that. They had things like uh, the death of money or the funeral of money where they actually had a funeral procession for money. And then the media ca caught up on this and they were telling people, well, go to San Francisco. It'll be the summer of love. And they ended up with a lot of hippies there term was not their term. They were not called hippies, but they were anarchists. They had uh, free stores. They even had a, another event called the death of the hippie or the funeral of the hippie in which they told people after the event that go back to where you came from and bring these ideas with you. Bring the idea of feeding people, bring the idea of uh, free events, free stores. You don't have to be part of the capitalist want you could actually resist it by just providing everybody with their needs. Um, from that, eventually, Peter Berg and Judy Goldhoff, who had been traveling around the country when the diggers ended, and they were going to communes uh, that were back to the earth movements. Um, Peter eventually ended up, I believe, with the first uh, summit about the environment for the UN. And they ended up going to meet up with their friend named uh, Alan Van Newkirk in Nova Scotia. And he had told them of a term he created it called uh, bioregionalism or bioregions. And they liked the idea. They, they had seen how bad the environment had gotten, how rivers were actually burning in the United States, how uh, communities were being uh, poisoned with toxins. Uh, they had been awoken by um, an earlier book 10 years before that called uh, Silent Spring by Rachel Carson. And they were realizing that, you know, industrialization had overtaken everything and that they really needed a new movement. And that's where they create bioregionalism. And you know, a lot of people don't realize that bioregionalism is not environmentalism. Peter Berg said that environmentalism died on the first day when they had Earth Day that people, he, he claimed that people were going to go to an event and that the problem would be solved. And this was a continuous issue. Um, so that's the beginning of bioregionalism. It's, it, and it's different from environmentalism as where environmentalism is uh, reactive, responding to a crisis. Bioregionalism is different in the sense that it's become, you're supposed to become proactive you're supposed to prevent those things from happening, prevent the destruction of the environment by living with the environment and not separating the environment from humans and putting 
you know, parks as separate things that humans are not part of, but seeing humans as living entities within the ecosystems. So that's kind of the beginning, a short story of how bioregionalism began. It began with anarchists and it began as an anti-racist movement. It began as an anti-capitalist movement. And so today when people say they're a bioregionalist, they should become very conscious of that, of what this movement really is, which is an anti-racist, anti-capitalist, and very much pro active movement. So as I said, the found, one of the founders of the Diggers was Emmett Grogan, and he created really the, the feeding of people in the parks. Um, one of the other things he did was in 19, I think it was 68, uh, drove down with food to the Black Panther uh, office in, I think it was Oakland, and showed up and said, w would you like, w w where would you like this food? And they were having a meeting and they just like, put it out in the alley there or in the, over in the corner or something like that. So he put the food out there. He had what's called the digger papers. These are papers that the diggers would, um, little pamphlets that they would hand out about things and just commentaries about society and the war that was going on at the time. And the Black Panthers all of a sudden start realizing their community was actually, uh, some of their members of their community was quickly grabbing food uh, and reading these papers. And that inspired the uh, free breakfast program with the Black Panthers. And they credit him 100% in this. So there's these ties that a lot of people don't know that is connected with the diggers, which would eventually become bioregionalism, and the Black Panthers. You know, the other person is um, Alan Van Newkirk, the one who coined bioregional uh, bioregions. He had um, a magazine in uh, New Jersey uh, called uh, Gorilla. And he published a lot of articles that were written by Black Panthers. So the diggers, the bioregional movement is, was deeply connected with the Black Panther movement, with the idea of challenging the dominant society in its racism. And I think a lot of people miss out on understanding that history.